In this demonstration, I want to show Geomagic Design X. Geomagic Design X is our industry leading scan to CAD or reverse engineering software. It's essentially a software, as you can see, that looks a lot like CAD because we are a CAD platform where we've taken a CAD kernel and our own technology uh, scan kernel and blended them together into one software that can natively connect to 3D scanners, bring in any 3D scan data, and extract CAD model information and get it over to, in, to CAD packages. So let's go ahead and get started. So if I wanted to reverse engineer this part, um, there's a lot of different ways I could go about it, but let's just so, show some of the foundational tools inside of the software that make it special. For one, the bottom here, if we wanted to model this flange on the bottom, we can select this bottom plane. Instead of creating a sketch like I would in CAD, we have the ability to create a mesh sketch. So this mesh sketch will allow us to reference the polygon while we're sketching inside of our software. So not only do I have the ability to drag it wherever I want to and it's projected down to the bottom, I can cut multiple sections. I can even do what we call a silhouette here. So it'll silhouette the entire part back to that original plane. But for the sake of what we're doing here today, I'll go ahead and slice a section right there and come in and create a cross section. Now, if I go ahead and hide the scan, you'll see that I have this cross section. It's a polyline that's extracted from the data. Now, I have all the same CAD model sketching tools that I would inside of a SolidWorks or an NX or Inventor. But you see here, when I grab the line, I, I have the ability to best fit the data to that information. So you see here, I'm best fitting a line to that information. I can best fit an arc to this area. I could best fit a circle to this area. And if you zoom in, you'll see that we're best fitting a perfect circle to the imperfect data. So this allows you to create what we call design intent, actually breathe in the original designer's intent back into the 3D model information. So you see, I have all those tools that I can manually uh, model this, or I also have a lot of automatic tools built in as well, where I could say, make all curves, and it will go ahead and make all the curves and the ones that I do not want. So I'll just go ahead and come in here and remove some of these tool, some of these areas. And then if I want to, I can also select areas and make changes to. So if I want that to be a sharp corner, I can say, hey, let's go ahead and delete that fillet and create a, a sharp corner. And the same thing goes over here, where if I select this and let's go ahead and create a corner trim sharp corner. So we were able to model this in seconds. So now if I'm done with this sketch cross section, I can just rotate the part and turn my polygon back on. And you see that we drew that directly over top. So it's almost like 3D tracing paper. If I go ahead and grab that sketch, I can do modeling in here. I can go ahead and I say extrude this up and I can even snap to the CAD model itself. I can snap to different regions on the CAD model or key in the exact dimension that I want to use. And then if I hit OK there, you'll see that I modeled the gray is a CAD model and the blue is the scan data, as you can see here. Now, not only did I just manually create an extrusion for that bottom section, I could also stop at any point throughout the modeling process, come over to the accuracy analyzer, and I can do a 3D comparison between what I've modeled so far and the scan data. Not only that, when I turn that on, I have the ability to roll my mouse over the top surface here. And let's roll to the other side because there's more deviation here. I can roll my cur cursor over and it will show me the deviation on the surface of that part. So I can make decisions about the model. Now you notice that we made a, on this side here, we removed the fillet. So if I come over to the model section and I say I want to add a fillet to this area, I can add a fillet and it's going to estimate here with whatever dimension I used last time, but I can use this estimate radius from mesh and you'll see that it will go ahead and look at the underlying mesh and I can turn on deviation from body when I'm still in the tool itself and I can make changes. 
and get real-time feedback understanding how close I'm fitting to that mesh itself. And then you'll see that we just added that in. So I can actually make decisions and reverse engineer with this deviation tool, which cannot be underestimated how valuable that functionality is. Now, that is how you manually cut a cross section and you extrude. Now, let's so show some of the more automatic tools. Now, in order to do that, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on our region groups. So region groups are essentially the ability for you to run a tool called region grouping up here in the tab here. I can auto segment. And what it does is it breaks up the mesh into common curvature groups and you can manually edit these. Now what they are is advanced selection tools. So it allows you to save selections and reuse them. That's really what I end up using these for. Now, the reason why I point them out is not only do those regions know the region itself as far as remembering them, but you'll see that my mouse cursor says cylinder as I roll over the surface. So we can use our modeling tools down here. We can say extrusion wizard, and we can say, I want to create a solid from this cylindrical region and then hit next. And the software itself will automatically calculate the direction, calculate the cross-section sketch, and give me a preview and allow me to edit it. So you see here, I'm able to make decisions, adjust the sliders if I want, and then hit OK. Now, if I turn my mesh off and my, my CAD model on, you see that we modeled that directly over top of the scan data. So if I turn my scan data on, you can see that. Now, I can use just regular modeling tools here. If I wanted to use that same uh, that same plane down here at the bottom, I can say, I want to do a cut on this cylinder. Next, keep this, hit OK. And you see that I just trimmed that bottom side off. But what about this back side? If I go ahead and turn my solids off, and I come over here and select that region on the back, and I say, I can fit a reference plane to it, or... Let's do this instead. Let's come over to my wizards again. And I say, let's fit a surface plane to that region. So if I say, select that plane, fit a, fit a plane to it, hit OK. So now I fit a surface plane to that. And if I turn on my solids on, now I can do that same cut again. I say, this is my tool. This is my body keep this, accept it, and then turn my surfaces off. So you see now that we've modeled that. Now the important thing to remember is everything is history based. So if I come back to that original sketch, there's that original sketch of what I created, or the stuff that was created with the wizard, you see that this extrusion, there is the sketch that's associated with it, and I can edit all of those along the way. So as you can see, I can cut cross sections and I can do revolves, sweeps, lofts, all kinds of extremely important tools. But you see that what we're specializing in here is making them semi-automated to make them faster to be able to extract this CAD model information extremely quick. So again, you can see how I can come over. I can say, let's do an extrusion wizard select this cylindrical region right here, solid insert, next, and you see how it calculates it, and I can extend it, hit OK, and then we've created that as well. So now, um, you can also do more advanced modeling things. So if I come over here, turn my solids off, turn my regions off, not only can you do the 2D sketching, but you can also create 3D sketches. So if I come over to 3D sketch, grab my spline, and draw directly on top of the mesh a boundary network. And you see that I can create this boundary network directly on top of the mesh. So now I have this boundary network that I can create a boundary surface from. So if I get out of this and I come over to my tools here and say boundary fit, 
click on this mesh sketch, you'll see it automatically extracts as long as it has four sides. And then I have the ability to hit next and we can determine the resolution or tolerance of the surface itself. Hit OK, and you'll see that it fits a surface directly to that mesh. So if I come over here and I turn my surfaces back on, you see that it's super accurate. It's like bisecting over and over again. And I can check the deviation. And of course, it's going to be green, and it's going to be super accurate to the mesh itself. So what this shows you is, yes, I would not model that section this way, but it shows you how... I can model extremely complicated organic surfaces by fitting things with mesh sketches and then surface modeling directly over that. So it gives you that very powerful tool. So not only do we have that ability, we have auto surface, which we pioneered the industry on where you can wrap auto surface around the part itself. I can fit lofts. I can fit mesh fit surfaces, and it just speeds up the process of reverse engineering. So if I was going to reverse engineer this entire part and finish it out, the next step here, if I was to finish this model in here, is to get it over to CAD. So that's where I want to introduce one of our most important tools. We have the ability to send this CAD information over to the CAD package as native entities. So you can see these are the supported CAD softwares that we support. So what I'm going to do is say, I want to send it over to SolidWorks. That's what I have installed on my machine right now. And I'm going to say, start from first feature. And then I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my SolidWorks screen. Now you can see my SolidWorks screen. Now, all I'm doing on my other monitor is hitting the send button from DesignX. And then DesignX is sending over the features as native entities inside of SolidWorks. And again, this works for Inventor, NX, Right, And it, of course, obviously works for SOLIDWORKS here. And you'll see the history tree is being populated. Now, I did not model the entire thing, but you could model the entire part and send these things over as native entities. So it says export succeeded. Here is my entire model that I've created so far. So if I just hide some of the things, you'll see that these are the features and that they're fully editable as well. So if I come over to that original sketch here and I hit edit it takes me in now if I added dimensions relations or constraints those come across as well you see that I have tangency values in here I didn't add any because this is a very quick demonstration but you see how you're able to send these things over as native entities and then you can save this solid part and you can give it over to any other SolidWorks user within your organization and they can work with it to create assemblies drawings or do analysis so as you can see DesignX is a full featured CAD software that allows you to extract CAD information from scan data and send it over to different CAD packages. So this has been a basic demonstration of Geomagic Design X. It's the industry leading scan to CAD reverse engineering solution in the market. And it's also the first to market to do something like this. Thank you very much for your time.